Hey, good morning, guys. Tush coming at you from the Tush Mahal. Saturday morning, August the 3rd, 11 o'clock. About 70 degrees in the uh, garage this morning. It's pretty comfortable, just over 20 degrees Celsius. So, you know, playing this morning, just uh, taking all the panels off again. Lost track of how many times I've taken these panels off and put them on again. But um, so the car's stripped down again. And like I said, we're going to concentrate on the body tub. And uh, I did come out last night and do a little bit of work on that sill. Just trying to build that up a little bit. So I've got uh, some filler on there. And we're going to sand that down to uh, get it to contour to the bottom of the door a little bit better. So uh, that's the first step on the tub today. Found a little bit of surface rust happening uh, when I took the fenders off. So that's not good. So I got to get this thing into, uh, into epoxy this week for sure. Uh, I guess with all the humidity, high humidity in the garage, it's uh, not been good for the, uh, the bare steel. Anyway, uh, so that's the plan. And uh, we've got this sanded up. We're going to, uh, I haven't actually decided on whether I want to, I was originally going to uh, just keep this white, uh, since this is all covered with carpet and uh, paneling and all that kind of stuff anyway, I was thinking of just leaving this white. It's just a, um, a Pour 15 um, two-part hard nose paint called White Coat. And I was just going to leave it like that. And of course, like I said, it's going to be covered with uh, carpet and stuff and you'll never see it. But I was thinking of just uh, maybe scuffing it down, and um, since I've got to paint the trunk area and the body color, I was thinking of scuffing the white coat down, maybe doing a coat of epoxy over that, and then uh, on to primer, and then you know paint it the final body color. I haven't decided on that yet. It's really stupidity. Um, I guess it would probably make me feel a little bit better, but it's something that you'll never ever see. And obviously that coating is pretty durable as it is. So still up in the air on that one. We'll see what happens. Um, I will have to mask it off if I don't paint it. So that's uh, one pro to, to painting it again, I guess, is uh, not having to mask it off. The other con, though, is having to uh, having to paint it, having to scuff it down and then repaint it. So, And obviously the material cost as well. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, we're going to get started uh, finishing up this... Uh, the sill on the uh, passenger side. Um, that's pretty much about it. We'll come back in a little bit. Well, one thing I did want to mention before I went, for anybody watching this video, maybe uh, my subscribers and uh, any of my new viewers or new subscribers, um, I'm really enjoying one particular channel at the moment, and that is The Wrecking Yard. Ron is uh, doing a 1973 Porsche 914 restoration. Um, 73 is the same year as my TR6, so I guess they would have been competitors back in the day for the market uh, market share, although I'm sure the Porsche was a few thousand dollars more than a TR6. Anyway, uh, he's doing a great job on that car. He's doing some awesome work on the uh, repairing some rust, uh, or some rust. I think most of the body was rusted on that car. So uh, he's doing a great job uh, forming some new patch panels and welding those panels in. Really uh, interested in watching uh, him work. He's pretty methodical on his approach. So if you haven't checked his channel out, again, it's The Wrecking Yard, No Spaces, and uh, working on a Porsche 914. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. We'll come back later. Hey, guys, about uh, quarter after 12, and we got a quick uh, update for you. I threw the uh, front fender back on because I wanted to check the gaps on the bottom of that um, outer sill and I uh, did some work down there. Turn the radio down a little bit. So it's looking much better now. And I managed to get away with... Uh, let me turn the lights on. I forgot to turn the lights on this morning. So I managed to get away with... Um, about an eighth of an inch of fill just in obviously goes thin here as you can see it moves up it's a little wider and then it starts going back down basically to nothing so about an eighth of an inch of fill just in this area here to bring that uh, bottom of that door so that's nice and flush now so I'm pretty happy with that And I'm not too unhappy with that. I mean, I think it looks okay. Matches the gap up here. 
that's a heck of a lot better than it used to be. Um, could go back and look at some of my old videos. So anyway, I'm uh, I'm just going to not play around with that anymore. I'm just going to leave it. I could probably be there for another few weeks if I really wanted to get anal about it, but I'm not going to. So anyway, looking better. And just got to do a bit more work on that rear, uh, the bottom of that B post. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. And we'll move on to the next side. All right, talk to you in a bit. Hey guys, just about uh, 5.30 on Saturday evening. Uh, we're just heading up to the car show in Sharon. Uh, didn't really get a chance to clean the car. Uh, just gave it a quick wipe down. But uh, anyway, we'll make the best of it. So we'll try to take some video once we're up at the show. We'll talk to you later. Silver horse.